Another task performed frequently in 3D graphics is to find the shortest distance between two points. And this is called the Euclidean distance. Now, we already have a vector uh, representing the displacement between origin and a new point, which is equidistant from origin as P2 is from P1. So it's fairly intuitive to discover that the magnitude of this vector uh, gives us the distance between the two original points. Now again, we've already covered vector magnitude in the vector operations video, but we'll do it again on our spreadsheet just to gain a bit more familiarity with performing calculations this way. So back in Excel here, I'm going to make a new title. Let's call this uh, vector magnitude because that is the generic calculation that we're doing here, and we can use this calculation for uh, other things as well as we move forward here in this lecture. So let's just prepare that title there, and we are going to be getting the magnitude of a certain vector, so uh, let's, just, let's just use a V here to, uh, to represent our incoming vector. And well, let's stick with the example that we've been using so far. I'll go ahead and copy uh, this vector that we just found and paste in uh, values only. So here's our vector we are, uh, uh, that, that we're trying to find the magnitude of. So uh, let's, uh, let's just describe the uh, result here as uh, magnitude of V. All right, let's do that magnitude of V. I'll just, just to keep things consistent here, I'll move that over one column. All right, and here, here we go. All right, and we remember from our video on vector operations that finding the magnitude of a vector uh, basically involves uh, calculating Pythagorean theorem on uh, basically the right triangle formed by the, uh, by the components of, uh, the, of, of that triangle. And of course, we can do this in three dimensions as well, right? So that's what we'll do uh, over in our spreadsheet. And so we'll say that our vector magnitude is equal to, um, let's, let's get the x components in here, right? So the x components squared plus the y component squared, and I'll just put in my parentheses here to keep everything separate. So the, the, the y component squared plus the z component squared. And then we take the square root of this entire calculation here. So in Excel, we can use the sqrt function and just wrap the whole, uh, the, the whole original calculation in parentheses here. And uh, that, will, that will be our vector magnitude. So 2.24, 2.24, uh, that, that is the distance between uh, P1 and P2.